All right. So day one, game number four. Sorry, my hand is just did, did a thing. All right. So now we're going between the Denver Nuggets, number three seed, and the six seed Portland Trail Blazers. This, in fact, is a very interesting series because Damian Lillard and CJ McCollum have played together for years. And they're in the prime of their career. They're top five in duos in the league, in my opinion. But their playoff window is closing. Their championship window is closing. They keep making it to the playoffs and they keep underperforming. CJ McCollum was electric in the bubble. They made it all the way to the, the the conference finals, and they weren't able to beat the 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 Lakers. I mean, obviously the Lakers they have LeBron and AD, but Damian Lillard wasn't able to do enough, and that's just a constant trend. Like they just they don't have enough. They the their main acquisition this year was a trading away Gary Trent Jr. and Rodney Hood for Norman Powell. Norman Powell has become very consistent with his jump shot. He plays great defense, and they have him locked up for two years, so he's gonna he's a game changer, and he's won a championship with the Toronto Raptors, so I think that's big for them, but the the Blazers haven't really added anyone else. So it's just pretty much the same team. It's just a matter of will they perform like they did last year or will they do better? And now on the other side with the Denver Nuggets, the Denver Nuggets came back from a 3-1 deficit in the playoffs last year, twice, but this year's different. They unfortunately lost Jamal Murray to an ACL tear, so he's out. His uh, production is going to be missed. His killer instinct is definitely going to be missed. They did sign Austin Rivers, who can handle his own, but he won't have the same impact as Murray. And they... They got better and they got worse because they lost Murray, so they got worse at that position. They got better because they got Aaron Gordon. They traded for him from the Orlando Magic. And he's a great big to compliment Nikola Jokic, an MVP candidate. He's, he's, he's one of the finalists. He has not been announced yet, but he has had a special season. And like I said in the previous games, the West is just very difficult and Now the Nuggets have the pieces to compete. But without your skipper, meaning Jamal Murray, it's it's going to be hard for uh, Gordon and Jokic to just carry that alone. It's going to be equally as hard for Damian Lillard and CJ McCollum to do that alone. But both teams, they made trades, and their roster is still intact the same way it was last year, but they have, they tinkered with it a little bit. You know what I mean? So last year, the Blazers were able to beat them, but the Nuggets were, they were close. They were close and it just wasn't that way. Oh, and I I completely messed up. It was the Lakers and the, the Blazers were in the first round. So, I apologize for that. But my prediction is I can see the series going seven games. And if I have to choose between the MVP candidate and Damian Lillard, if Damian Lillard shows up and is signature Dame time, I'm going with Blazers. But if Jokic and Gordon and if Austin Rivers can contribute just enough that you can kind of feel like it's close to what Jamal Murray brings to the team than the edges for the Nuggets, but we got to wait and see. My prediction is, that though, I'm going with the Blazers. I'm they're, Whenever their backs are against the wall and Damian Lillard has the ball in his hand, I honestly trust him to take the game-winning shot over Jokic or Gordon or Rivers or Barton. Michael Porter Jr. is still a key to that that team but last year there was issues with like not passing the ball so we're gonna have to see how all these tangibles happen 
in this game, but I'm going with the Blazers 4-3. to three. It's going to go seven games, in my opinion, and this is only day one. We still got day two. I'll be talking about day two tomorrow, so I'm looking forward to these matchups, and I hope you are too, and thank you for watching Light Sports Breakdown with LSB. I appreciate it. It's the starting line, and we're going to get to the finish line soon, so thank you so much for watching, and I just appreciate it. I'm looking forward to the playoffs myself. You know, go Heat. Let's get this.